What's going on everybody, this is Dilmer and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm really excited to show you another feature of MRTK3 that is going to allow us to interact with objects with our eyes. The concept is called Gaze and MRTK3 has Gaze Interactors that is going to allow us to basically look at an object and as we're looking at an object, it's going to activate certain actions. Based on those actions, we're going to be able to, if we wanted to do basically a pinch as I'm looking at an object, I can move an object around. If I wanted to select an object in a UI component, I can look at one of those objects and basically it's going to activate some of the callbacks that are currently available in some of the objects that MRTK3 provides. So today I'm going to be walking you through a demo, which I'm going to be going through everything that I just mentioned. And then by the end of this video, you should be able to use case interactors on your own. So Let's jump into my computer and I start working on it. All right guys, so the first thing that we need to do is we need to add our gaze implementation. And to do that, we're gonna go down to MRTK input and then go into prefabs. You're gonna see that we have the MRTK XR rig in there. We can just go ahead and add it and drop it in here. And you can also add the MRTK gaze controller by itself, but since we're gonna be using the MRTK XR rig, which has everything already set up, then we don't need to add it you know, specifically because it's gonna be part of this component and you can see it right here it also has the gaze interactor so just to give you an overview of how this works is the gaze interactor is going to contain a fuzzy gaze interactor and this is basically what's going to be doing that raycast for us it has the max raycast distance that we can specify whether you want a straight line a projectile a bezier curve you can also set different masks for or raycast. You can also go ahead and change the minimum gaze distance, the maximum gaze distance. And this is helpful. So if you want to interact with either 3D components or UI components and only allow a specific distance to be able to interact with them through your gaze. And but gaze is one thing, right? We want to look at an object and select it. But what if we wanted to pinch, right? So that means that those pinch interactors for our gaze are going to be on the controllers themselves. And if you look at the either the right hand or the left hand controller, you're going to see that we have also a gaze pinch interactor. So this is going to have a dependency on the gaze, basically the fuzzy gaze interactor that I just showed you. It also has a dependency on an actual hand because we basically do a pinch with our fingers. So we need an articulated hand for that. And then you also have this thing called the interaction detector, which is basically has a reference to our gaze pinch interactor, which is the one that we're looking at. But it also has a dependency on the hand, right? Because we need to have gaze and hands in order for us to do a gaze pinch interaction. So when those two happen, this is going to basically broadcast a gaze select, which is going to allow us to select different items, either 3D objects or UI components through our gaze. So now that you have those already set up for you, you can also go down in here. And what I want to do is I want to also add the simulation prefab. So I'm going to go ahead and drag and drop the MRTK input simulator. I'm going to be adding a slate with debugger. And we're going to be adding those to the scene object. I already have this offset by about half a meter. You guys can see that it's going to be right in front of us. So now that we have that, I also have a couple more objects that I want to add. I'm going to be adding a human heart. And I also have this one called Icosa, which is basically just, you know, a 3D object that we're going to be experimenting with. So these two objects already have bound controls. They already have a constraint manager, object manipulation. If you look at the object manipulation, the interaction types that we're going to be allowing, we're also going to be allowing gaze. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and if you can see my gaze is pointing and you can see that through this ray right here that we're pointing through the heart. And as soon as I point through the heart, I basically have an object that is changing the material. And I can do the same thing on this one. This one has a different material, which is a wide frame. So, and I can also get closer, right? If I were to go closer here, and my gaze is now, let's see if we can get it to, there we go. And if I get out of the range, then the object is no longer on the, basically along the, the gaze raycast. And if I go, there we go. So they're red and that one is red and that one is red. And if I go into that one, so it's red whenever the ray cast, if you can see the camera, is the ray cast of the gaze. And then we're looking at that object. So the object is changing, is changing to red. So events, you're gonna see that we have the east gaze hover. 
And then I'm basically just calling that script that is associated with this other object and then incrementing and decrementing based on the material that is selected. And again, if you want to do the same thing with, you know, is gaze pinch hover, you can do that as well. And the other thing that I also wanted to show you, let's say that you didn't want that to, you know, to happen. Let's say that for whatever reason, you only want to select objects with your hands and you don't want the gaze to be execute it on this object. You also have this concept of disable interactor types. And right now this has basically excluding this interactor. But if we wanted to exclude gaze, you can also go in here into the first option. And let's say that I didn't want to allow gaze to happen when I'm looking at that object. I can go in here and basically exclude that. Okay, so now if I go ahead and get closer here, we can see that my gaze is pointing at this object. But if I look up, it's not affecting the heart because we excluded that interactor from the heart. Let me go ahead and go and open the scripts folder here. And we're going to be looking at the, what I call the object creator. Drag and drop the object creator at the script. And I'm also going to be adding four different prefabs. Let's go ahead and do plus, plus, and plus. And lastly, we're just going to add the flag as well. And I'm going to get closer. And as you guys can see, I'm already selecting some of them by looking at some of those icons. The other thing that I wanted to mention is some of the materials that are currently available in the MRTK graphic tools. Once you get that through the Mixed Reality tool, you can import this by using the Package Manager. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed yet because it's gonna allow me to bring you many more videos. And if you are subscribed, make sure that you hit the notification bell so that you know when I'm releasing future videos. So that's everything for today. Thank you very much, guys.